ever pondered the significance of names in scripture? Names often symbolize a person's personality, character, role, and can even carry prophetic meaning. A prime example is Abram's name being changed to Abraham, sounding like father of a multitude in Hebrew. This name change wasn't a random decision. It was a direct reflection of God's promise that Abraham would indeed become the father of many nations. But it wasn't just Abraham whose name was changed. His wife, Sarai, had her name changed to Sarah. Both names mean princess, marking a shift in Sarai's life, as God began to fulfill his promises through her as well. These name changes are not merely cosmetic adjustments. They are profound divine transformations that mirror the significant roles these individuals play in the grand narrative of Scripture. With this understanding, we delve deeper into Scripture to investigate the names, roles and characters attributed to Jesus Christ and his adversary, the devil. The devil, known as Satan, means adversary, a being wholly opposed to God's purposes and creation and actively pursuing evil. This embodiment of malevolence carries various names and characters in Scripture, each revealing a different facet of his sinister nature. Firstly, Satan is referred to as the accuser. He's the one who brings charges against us, who slanders and accuses us before God and others. He seeks to undermine our faith and shake our confidence in God's love and mercy. Then he is known as the father of lies. This title is indicative of his primary weapon, deception. He whispers half-truths and outright lies, seeking to lead us astray from the path of righteousness. His aim is to distort our perception of God and ourselves and to sow seeds of doubt and confusion. Another common epithet is the deceiver. This name underscores his cunning and guile. He's a master manipulator, twisting the truth and presenting falsehoods as reality, leading many astray. Lastly, he is called the prince or ruler of demons. This title reveals his authority over the forces of darkness. He commands legions of fallen angels, using them to carry out his evil plans and inflict harm upon humanity. These titles paint a vivid picture of Satan, his character, attributes and schemes for all inhabitants of the earth. As we delve deeper into scripture, we gain a clearer understanding of our adversary, equipping us better to guard against his wiles and stand firm in our faith. In stark contrast to Satan, we find Jesus Christ, the embodiment of love, truth, and life. As we delve deeper into the scripture, we find that Jesus Christ was bestowed with various names and roles that beautifully reflect his character and mission. Firstly, Jesus is referred to as the Messiah. The term Messiah in Hebrew means the Anointed One, symbolizing his divine appointment to fulfill God's will. Then we have the Son of God, a title that underscores his divine origin and unique relationship with God the Father. Another noteworthy title is the Prince of Peace. This term conveys Jesus' role in establishing a kingdom of peace that transcends human understanding. He is also known as the Light of the World, illuminating the path for those lost in the darkness of sin and despair. Last but not least, Jesus is often depicted as the Good Shepherd. This role signifies his loving care and protective nature towards his followers, akin to a shepherd guarding his flock. He guides, protects, and even lays down his life for his sheep. These titles reveal the nature and mission of Jesus Christ, his character, attributes, and his plan of salvation for all mankind. So we see the stark contrast between the characters represented by Jesus Christ and Satan in Scripture. Jesus, a symbol of love, sacrifice and salvation, stands in stark opposition to Satan, the adversary, slanderer and deceiver. In the biblical narrative, names carry weight and meaning, often signifying a person's role or character. This is clearly illustrated in the names ascribed to Christ and Satan, each encapsulating their contrasting roles in the divine story. The importance of understanding these representations cannot be understated. It equips us with the necessary knowledge to discern truth from deception, to recognize the battle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. We are reminded that our defense lies not in our own strength, but in the power and authority granted to us by Christ. In our next video, we'll explore the weapons believers have in our armory and the authority Christ has given us to use them effectively. Stay tuned.